That would have to do, I believe, with the particularly has to do with the um, actual warrant articles before you. Okay. okay. Uh, the 2018 warrant article before your request, uh, one side arm packer, one three quarter ton truck, to, and these would be replacements uh, to replace one of our six wheel dump trucks with front plow and wing and uh, the yard horse. Um, give you a brief summary of those. Um, the uh, unit 91 is one of the uh, sidearm packers that we picked up uh, back in 2011 when I first got here. Um, we've had significant problems with the engines and hydraulics uh, of those particular vehicles and to that effort I believe I had delivered last Friday um, a memo to the board entitled I'll give you a call gentlemen status of the sidearm collection vehicles and what we're looking at is a number of options as to what to do with respect to uh, replacing the Packers um, the second vehicle that's on the warrant article is to replace one of our three-quarter tons trucks with a plow this is one of those uh, heavier vehicles that we use to plow a lot of the narrower streets such as Beach Plum Way James um, in and around the fire stations uh, town hall, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I know it's been mentioned a number of times uh, that we have a number of these, and why do we have so many? As a matter of fact, Mayor Louise brought it up earlier. Um, the third unit that's on there is Unit 40. That's one of our. Uh, it's a 1997 International Six Wheel uh, Dump Truck and Plow with Wing. Um, as you, some people know, um, we've been very um, trying here in the last couple of years to get some of these replaced. Uh, that it, particular vehicle is used by Russ Nickerson. Um, we're estimating the, the cost at 172000 to replace. It has approximately 67,000 miles on it, um, all spent, if you will, going around town and literally in circles. Um, and then the fourth vehicle that's on that list is a replacement of the yard horse. Uh, many people may or may not know um, when we got those trailers in uh, 2011 along with the three sidearm packers it really expanded our need for uh, a yard horse we had one what we had was a over-the-road truck where the doors didn't shut and the windows didn't go down um, didn't matter didn't have any heat anyhow um, we used that for several years and we actually traded it in for a um, the red yard horse that you see now that you use basically for those people at home and others what does a yard horse do it literally just moves our trailers <coughs> around um, when they're full we don't always have uh, CWT right there to pull the trailer away and take it to the recycling center or to, to waste management's landfill so we use the yard horse to move the trailers in and out very very critical all times of the year but more so uh, during the summer when like on July 4th and Labor Day weekend, we will actually fill all six trailers in the, in the two days. So it's key and important for us to have that piece of equipment on site. The one we have um, uses a rubber bladder literally to lift up the trailers. And it's literally just that, uh, like a rubber balloon. And you can imagine uh, we, we got it in trade a number of years ago. It cost us less than 5000 um, and you get what you pay for. <coughs> So if I could move on to the status of the sidearm collection vehicles. Uh, we originally bought these vehicles, three of them, for about $275,000 uh, based on Warren Article Number 8, March 8, 2011. Um, and that, at that time, was the language was to purchase three double-armed automated refuse collection trucks. The idea of being automated trucks is we were going with carts. Um, it didn't require as much labor. Uh, men or women on the back side of the uh, uh, of a normal truck to uh, move the carts around I can tell you they are very very efficient uh, we get between 75 and 80 carts moved picked up per hour versus maybe tops 50 with a with a rear loader truck but they aren't the end all cure to everything uh, as I said uh, Item number four in my memo, the original price was 248000 um, that we had for that. I did, was able to uncover the original bid document for these. 
Um, one of the reasons we bought these particular trucks is that we had a short time frame between um, the March 11 time table and when we wanted to actually start collecting in late June or July. Um, and what one of the <coughs> vendors found for us was three trucks that just happened to be on the yard. Uh, the reason why they happen to be just on the yard is, to be honest with you, I don't think anyone else wanted them. Uh, since 2007, the federal government through the EPA has mandated basically a reburning of all diesel emissions. Most vendors <coughs> accomplish this by a, a fuel additive, I think they call it ATF, fluid, automatic. DEP. DEP, Dep. thank you. And um, that mixes with the uh, fuel. Uh, it allows for a cleaner, more uh, total burn. This particular company went with a basically a, a heater, if you will, on the side of the, the, the engine where the gas is collected in there and then they were reburnt. The problem with, with these vehicles is they really were made to go long distance over the road where the vehicles, their motors, their engines heat up and actually reburn the, the, uh, the gases. We found that they never get hot enough for the way we use them, and um, as a result, we've had to replace those three times, those uh, regen units. Each one, I think, each truck has gone through two regen units, mm -hmm. if the records are right. Um, and one of them is on its third. Right, one of them is on its third. Um, basically, uh, well, we'll put it here. The total, to date, uh, just this year alone, the total vehicle maintenance for those three units, 90, 91, and 92, comes to $63,642 in parts, along with another $21,550 in labor. We, we estimate the labor at about $50 an hour. We try and keep track of that. Uh, the total, so the total cost to maintain those three trucks this year alone, and we're not over yet, one of them just left the shop today, is 85000 we only paid 74000 for the truck. So each year we're buying the truck all over again. Um, I don't believe that's really what we intended to do or, or want to continue to do. Um, on top of that, the other three units that we have that are the same type of truck, Unit 95 was at a service center for a $5,400 coolant leak. Unit 93, an oil leak at $13,000, and they're all the same engines. Um, they just they just keep going. So I was asked or tasked with, can you look at some other options? Uh, Fred and I met with uh, some of the staff, and one option was we looked at or we're looking at is to maybe lease instead of buying a new truck, can we lease a truck? I did reach out. I found a uh, leasing company out of Ohio. Um, if we rent it for six months straight, it'll, they'll lease to us at $5,500 per every four-week period. And there's a $1,700 delivery charge right up front. Um, I looked into outside collection people, um, went in basically, they told me it would be somewhere around 5000 but three or four of them told me uh, directly, we are not equipped at this time to provide that service you'd have to give us a couple months' notice because we have to literally go buy or lease the truck themselves and then hire the staff to. Um, so that, I estimate, during the summer could cost us 65000 for just one truck in man. Um, the other thing that we've looked at, we've had the vendors in. Option three would be to replace uh, these refuse, truck, refuse trucks. We could do it one at a time. Um, a price went out last year, $226,000. And um, I had, did not ask the gentleman to up it, or uh, not up it, but re revisited his price because of the short time table turnover on this particular memo, but um, I can. Option four, we <coughs> reached out to Labrie Equipment, who is the packer portion, the back side of the truck. If they could remount those packers that we have, because those still have a lot of life in them, on top of another truck. They said they've done it before. Uh, a new truck would be 140. They'd want 75,000 to make each switch over, and we'd ask for a 20,000 contingency at least the first time we do it. 
Um, with option three or four, even if we pulled the trigger today and did it, we wouldn't have the truck back for the summer because they're talking, um, like, for instance, <coughs> just to rebuild them, reset them on a new cabin chassis is eight weeks. And the delivery time uh, on the uh, other truck under option three is easily eight to 12 weeks. So even if we pull the trigger today, we may not have a new truck available to us. So those are the four options that um, we could exercise under this particular warrant article. So uh, we had in there 300,000, but as you can see, 265 to 250 would cover it for one truck, or we just lease. Um, the other the other truck values are similar in the research that we did last year, so I don't really have any additional or new information on those particular trucks. But as you know, this is this is essentially the same, aside from the sidearm packer. This is essentially the same warrant article that we had last year, but we lost by one vote. So um, not much has changed. With respect to the comment that I made to Mary Louise earlier. Um, a number of times she has asked me, um, you don't seem to be getting tearing down your equipment. Um, I have to respectfully say I disagree with her when she looks at the total cost at $6 million. They are what they are. I, getting rid of them isn't going to lower the fact that you have money spent in, in physical plant. I mean, we, our, our, our wastewater treatment facility is worth about 45 to $50 million. But we can't pare that down either because we don't like the total dollar figure of millions of dollars. I went back in Teresa's files. Thank God she kept good files. And I found the 2010 inventory. Back then we had 65 pieces of rolling, what I consider rolling stock, something that has wheels on it. Based <coughs> upon what we had then versus what we have now, the number is 53. We've managed to pare it down by almost 12 units. But at the same time, we picked up another vehicle for me. We picked up a vehicle for wastewater treatment plant. We picked up a mini excavator. We picked up the three sidearm packers that we bought in 2011. Uh, we've got an additional sidewalk plow since 2010 and a wood chipper. If you were to look at it for rolling stock today versus then, we're at 61 units versus the 65 that they had then. So we really haven't gone up. But what we have done is we have gotten rid of Unit 19, which was a pickup. Unit uh, 18, which was a pickup. If I'm reading this right. Um, unit 23, which was a pickup. Um, the, the old Johnson sweeper that... We got rid of that, but we did replace it with Unit 99. We used to have a grader in 2010. We don't have a grader anymore. So our, our tolls rolling in, between, and I, I can give this to you. This I made 10 copies. We have less equipment now. I even have a, there's two, it's surprising, but we had, back when we only picked up recycling, we had six packers, rear packers. Does baffles the imagination as to why we had six packages just to pick up recycling. But two of those are gone now. And as a matter of fact, one of them is still sitting out in the yard. Um, that's how gone they are. So we, have, we do not have more rolling stock today than we did in 2010. matter of fact, we have less. And we use what we have. And we use what we have, right. We have 22 plow routes. We plow 20 of them, and two of them are handled by contractor. We need every particularly every piece of equipment we have. If we have a plow truck down, we have one replacement. It's the mechanic's pickup truck, the one that they use to respond to when somebody's out on the road and broken down. So we, we're not flush with equipment. Not everybody's driving around town plowing one street with one truck. It's not the way it is. Um, we just don't have all that excess rolling stock that some people think we do. We don't. And there's, there's the inventory to prove it. Thank you. With that, I'll, I'll quiet down a little bit. <laughs> Is there Take any questions? questions? Uh, I, quite, I had a couple of comments, not any questions. You know, I, I've been around this town a few years, and uh, I've seen what Public Works does. and They always seem to do more with less. 
They always have equipment out there. They're always working it. Um, I, I don't see a glutton of equipment down there. I see that they, they use everything they have. Yes, they may have replaced some of that over the years, but they've replaced some old and aging equipment, and I think uh, um, some comments were made today were, were a little offline. Um, and I, can, if I don't mind, talk about a couple other things. Um, th those pictures that were in the uh, newspaper about the plant, she's talking about she doesn't want to see in two years, you know, the, the equipment in the same shape. I look at those pictures, and some of that equipment was put in in 76, if I don't know, 74? Mm -hmm. so 74, I, 80s. I mean, you mean wastewater treatment plant. Right, yeah. the wastewater yeah. treatment plant. So, so this is not stuff that's gone, you know, was replaced a couple years ago. This is stuff that's been replaced 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago, and it is now wearing out. So, um, and, and, and a couple of other things. She, said, she talked about your employees. You, you, you got up to 17 that are going to leave. But you're planning on replacing all 17 of those, aren't you? Right. I would, ho I would hope so. We need them there. Yeah. Um, you know, when people get up in age and they have the chance to retire, that's their prerogative, that's their right, and all I do is wish them the very best they can. But you want to know something? There's going to be other people there to replace them and do that same job. And I have no qualms to think that Public Works isn't going to be out there doing that job. Yep. You know, and then um, she talked about trash. Has anything changed in the past three years? Three years ago, we had a vote to do, do away with commercial trash, and that vote was severely shot down. There was not, not a want in the this town. The only thing that's changed in three years is the total number of carts that we pick up. But the town's growing. Correct. I'll bet, I'll bet there's a lot more people and a lot more businesses in this town than there were three years ago. So we've got to keep up with the times. The people in this town have voted to keep commercial trash. And I, I cannot see for the life of me why we keep having to hear about this time in and time out. So that was my statement. Yeah, from a person that lives at the beach, it's there's a difference of night and day of what's happening <coughs> today and what was happening 10 years ago. <coughs> Even when did we get those cards? How many years has it been? They arrived in 2011. Okay, so that is... Uh, Six years. In the last six years, it's the difference of night and day. And if you went back further, because we were working to try to make it much of the time in vain, because it wasn't really possible until those trash cans all, you know, the trash buckets or whatever, carts. And uh, there may be um, uh, ways that it needs to be readdressed. Uh, We've, um, we have a policy, and I believe it's five units and under. Mm -hmm. um, recently, someone called me from um, uh, uh, out on Island Path, and I guess Bob Preston, that she has a, a property that rented by the Prestons. She called, she said they told her to call me. And it turned out she has six. Uh, so I'm sure I can see you by shaking your head. You know who I'm talking about. Exactly. The lady lives in Pennsylvania, yep. and, and it's a, a well-known person that many years ago was on top of things, and today isn't the way that it is. <coughs> but I mean, we do have a, a, a policy, and like I said to that woman, I said, "You better." Uh, I said, "I don't know what to tell you, except that you won't be getting any more carts." Uh, if I were you, I wouldn't. I would just continue to do what you can do with the carts that you have. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, maybe people like that, you have to go and find out. Maybe it has to be tightened up uh, with some of the restaurants. I know some of them have many more carts than the other. Uh, you know, maybe there's a way to make it slightly fairer. But it's not something that we can do away with. It's made a big difference. And if we're going to add uh, employees to any group here in town, I would just as soon add some more to your uh, uh, department. Mm -hmm. I've said it over and over again, this isn't a, something we should even be talking about, about getting rid of anything. The people, the taxpayers are happy with the way it is. And if you can't do what you have to do with the way it is, then bring something forward. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the other thing that is, I'm, uh, 
Are we going to be discussing about the $15 million? Because I'm in favor of it being 13.8. Just want to throw that out there. We had in the last couple of days prepared um, a spreadsheet that actually breaks out those 12 projects that would be covered by the 13.8. Um, the, uh, um, and I, I think one of the specifically there was a former selectman that was actually actually requesting <coughs> where was the backup for that information well we didn't get anything additional other than the facilities plan that we discussed back in November uh, in section four of the facilities plan is where it lays all that out um, but we did pick out of that section four what of those of those high priority projects that we would accomplish uh, we met with uh, the manager this morning we got authority um, to now that we have the information back to actually <coughs> release it um, and uh, I believe we released it through the manager's office and to the uh, person that requested it um, but it's it simply is just those 12 projects that were um, that were laid out as high priority for instance the two aeration lagoons uh, additional lagoons which would give us additional capability to handle the just more of the town's waste uh, is six million of that 13 million and the, the rest of them break out as smaller projects all significant but they do break out as smaller projects I think that uh, you know if we do this right then people will get used to that we're updating this and they'll mm -hmm. be wanting to reinvest in the future we have to uh, keep the ball rolling and to keep this town moving forward yeah. and uh, I know Mrs. Wolsey has a hard time listening to the taxpayers uh, what they say when they vote on things but like Mr. Bridal said this has been discussed and there's really not uh, something that we need to go to try to change now at the last minute when nobody that would be adding any input is around thank you Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm looking at the agenda, uh, and I don't know exactly what um, we're talking about right now. What is what is it exactly we're doing? Trash. We're, okay, well, that's not on the agenda. I'm looking at wastewater treatment plan article, and I'm looking at a fleet update. So could somebody add some clarification on exactly what fleet update deals with the DPW equipment <clears throat> purchases under old business? I think the way I'm looking at I'm looking at wastewater treatment plant warrant article. Have we talked about that, or are we on the fleet, fleet update? Said you were going to do that next. Yeah, that's part of it. The wastewater treatment plant article. Part of that is facilities plan and how we're going to move forward and talk about okay, the thirteen. Okay, I got that. But I, then I've been I've been hearing a, a, a lot your of trash dissertation. Well, no, I've been hearing about your December seventh. Is that what we're talking about right now? Yes. That's what you just went over. It is what so I. Just that's went what over. we're talking about right now. Correct. Correct. Okay. Good. Got that. And are you looking for some board? Is this just a fleet update? It requires no decision. You've you've gone over some things. I'm, I'm looking at the agenda. The fleet. It's a fleet update. So yes, it is a fleet update with the hopefully the intent that there's some a vote of support or to change the number. However, to move that uh, particular warrant article forward to replace okay. these vehicles. Okay. Uh, th thank you for your update. I, I have uh, uh, examined this. Your fleet update, I don't believe, was in the agenda items that were emailed. Uh, uh, I could be wrong, but I, I am looking at the hard copy. I would say that I, w I would not be prepared to make any decisions uh, this evening, and I would like a heavier emphasis on uh, lease options, not only uh, to include uh, your option one, but across uh, all of your uh, vehicle purchases at uh, um, public works that can be done thank you madam chair okay i just have actually <coughs> i guess a statement on this fleet update so you're saying that for the three international cabs that we the warren article purchased in 2011 right 90 91 and 92 they were about two hundred fifty thousand dollars each so three quarters of a million dollars and then this year alone if you add up, so for 90, 90, and 91, it's 85,000 just in. Just those three vehicles. In repairs. And we're over, pretty much overpaying, we're paying more 
and our vehicle maintenance, and maintenance fees yes. than what? And it was a similar story last year in that uh, those three vehicles accounted for 30% of all vehicle maintenance okay. all last year, basically not leaving enough resources for the other vehicles. And to keep one of these up and running with the current regulations is going to be $235,000, roughly. Y yes. To, re to repair one would be two thirty five. To buy a new one is about two forty five. Okay. And to lease one would be under $35,000. Correct. And, I and, and if <coughs> I have to be clear, if we decided to replace one of them, I would, I would move to have to lease one for the summer because I would be short a vehicle. And the warrant article for five hundred and twenty-two thousand has for one of these purchases in there for one of these. It has right. It has uh, the CIP article as, as it was the CIP presentation, which I believe w watered down to the warrant article. Yes, calls for uh, unit ninety-one to be replaced this year. Right. We were going to try and do one each year for the next three years. Okay. To get out from underneath these trucks. All right. Thank you for the clarification. Thank you. I guess that's it. No motion. Right, and selectman Bean, if I could be just to point out, the, I think the only way we matriculated to the collection discussion was because it's so intimately tied to the trucks that we have. I, and I would apologize if I led the board off. Uh, there's no no reason to apologize. I I uh, I would say that um, I had a, just a hard time tracking it, and I'm sticking to the agenda. Thank you, director. No need to apologize. I probably led you off. That's <laughs> It's, it's just at times all of these topics are, from our position, so interrelated. You can't make one decision without affecting something else. 